Hey, what's going on, everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to mine Carlson on both Hive and Windows. Of course, with any new cryptocurrency, I always urge caution. Be careful. Don't install wallets on sensitive systems that might have private keys, financial information, anything like that. Uh, the wallet is a CLI or command line interface, not a GUI. So there are some steps that I'll have linked down in the description for you. But the first things first, we always got to identify what we're, what pool we're going to mine on. That's that's the first step. Identify the pool that we're going to mine on. There's... That we're gonna mine on. There's not a lot of pools and there's not a lot of crypto exchanges. Right now, the only crypto exchange that I know of is Trade Ogre. There might be more coming in the future, but who's to say? This is basically a fork of Caspa, uh, but it's called, and its algorithm is called Carlson Hash. And we can see the pools in front of us. Hero Miners, unfortunately, has 66% of the net hash. As miners, we should always try to be distributing our hash rate amongst different pools, not just all on one. Um, but we got Hero Miners, Wooly Pooly, and you just want to choose whatever pool is best suited for your region. Of course, when we mouse over the globes, we could see Wooly Pooly is supported in the EU, US, uh, Australia, Asia. There's some Russian pools and Hong Kong pools or China pools. Just choose whatever best for you. Um, and your situation uh, and obviously the pool that you find most reliable and doesn't do shady stuff uh, I'll leave it at that but once you identify the pool um, you can go to that actual pool itself to see what is the setup nine times out of ten they got like a little setup page or something uh, on you know hero miners we can see the pool uh, we can see the port number information we're gonna need uh, same thing for Wooly Pooly if you go down to Carlson and click connection you can go through the steps, choose your region, choose your miner, so on and so forth. There's only two miners right now, SRB miner and LOL miner. Uh, Hivon just updated to where LOL miner's latest version, 1.78, is available. Uh, but I would recommend SRB for your AMD cards and LOL miner for your NVIDIA cards. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. But it will give you the guide and everything that you need for Windows. You can see if you fill out everything on, on Wooly Pooly here, like your wallet address and your worker, um, that you'll be able to get the batch uh, command down here in the bottom, copy it or download it, whatever you see fit. Uh, but we got to get the wallet going first. So we just want to identify the pools. We found it. We know what ports, servers, all that good stuff that we need to use. Now it's time for the wallet. This Medium article, as I mentioned, will be linked down in the description. But you go to, you got to go to their GitHub and download the version that you need. So, for example, this one right here. Uh, we got uh, version 1.0.0 available for both Linux and Windows. Uh, again, do not install this on a day-to-day -day system. Probably do it in a VM or a different uh, segregated system on your network. Um, but go ahead and grab the one we need for our operating system, which is the Win64. Once we download that, just like everything else, we're going to extract the files. There is a full audit of this uh, particular wallet on Yeti.uk. Uh, please go check that out uh, for the most up-to-date, especially when it comes to new coins. We do our best to get audits on those new coins or software wallets out to you as soon as possible. Keep suggesting it. We'll keep working on it. Um, but the audit found it okay-ish. Um, but again, just with anything new, I would just install it on a separate system. But once we have that, uh, we got the files extracted. Here's what we got. We need to run a few commands. There are some command windows in the background already, but I'm just gonna walk you through the basics, except for showing you the wallet address that I'm utilizing. So first things first, if you're not used to command prompt, which we're gonna have to use, and it's because it is a CLI or command line interface, go ahead and go to that folder you extracted, wherever you put it in your downloads or what have you, come up here to the address bar at the top of that folder and select it. So we need to copy downloads slash and then the folder name. We're going to copy that and we're going to open up a new command prompt window and type in CD for change directory. Right click to paste what we just copied and boom. Now we are in this folder right here. Now that we have that set up, we got to follow the commands outlined in this medium article. So first things first, Carlson wallet create, right? When you do that, I don't want to do it because I'm just going to create a new wallet overriding my local data. But when we do Carlson wallet create, it's going to generate a local wallet and you will be prompted to create a password. Give it a strong password, but what it outputs, you need to back up and store safe. That's not your public key for mining crypto to, but you just need to back it up, keep it somewhere safe. You will get a keys.json file created with the encrypted private key. Back it up. That's what you're getting. You're getting the private key and you will be shown the public key. 
this is not a wallet you can mine to and you will need to still create a wallet so after you do the a carlson wallet create just back up what you get essentially what it's going to do is not only create that but it's going to create a json file which is going to go into your c uh users your username app data local and carlson right here that's where everything goes including the blockchain that you're about to sync up so just make sure you're backing up what it gives you and you put a strong password following the process outlined in front of you next after that you're going to want to type in carlson wallet uh, dump dash unencrypted dash data this is where you're going to get your 24 mnemonic phrase your seed phrase again back that up along with the previous information you received nice and secure somewhere safe once that's done go ahead and run the carlson uh, space dash dash utxo index now when you do this your machine is going to start going crazy you're going to start seeing things like this pop up it's syncing with the blockchain. Let that baby ride out for a bit. You might need to give it some time. Um, I gave it a, a few minutes here or there, but it went through, it's pruned, it started cleaning up everything. And you'll actually start to see your C drive or whatever drive you have it installed on, you'll start to see the slide, the size of it or the amount of space taken jump around. It's okay, just let it do its thing. After that's done, you need to open up a new command prompt window. After you run the Carlson UTXO index, you need to open up a new command prompt window and run the start daemon, the Carlson start daemon. The reason you're doing it in a new window is because you want this bad boy to sync, kind of like Ironfish, okay? So now, after you let the UTXO do its thing, eventually it will say down here at the bottom, while it is sync and it's ready for queries. You got to wait for that. One, if that doesn't show up yet, don't open up a new window to create your new wallet yet. Let that sync. Let it do its thing. And then once you see wallet is sync, ready for queries, then you can open up a third window. Yes, a third window. And then you could type in the option to create a new wallet address. Okay. That's where you, this is where you would type that in. So Carlson space new dash address. And it's going to output your mining address. You need to back that up as well because that's what you're gonna to use to mine to. As far as checking your balance, sending and receiving, it's similar to what we saw with Ironfish, but instead of PowerShell uh, command prompt, um, and you can use either one really, but basically you need to check out this Medium article. I'll leave it down in the description below. But now that your wallet's created and you got your new address, now it's a matter of setting up our flight sheets and connecting everything accordingly. So for Hive OS, on my NVIDIA system, I'm using, again, LOL Miner 1.78. I recommend that miner uh, for NVIDIA, but I don't recommend it for AMD quite yet. And I'll show you why in just a little bit. Just basically had some issues. So my flight sheet is as follows. Coin, KLS. Now, if you type in Carl, it's not going to come up. If you type in CAS, it comes up. If you type in KLS, it doesn't come up automatically, but it does show something there. We can just select that. And then for wallet, you're going to want to click add wallet and get that address that you just got from your, your, your output of your new address uh, field. Get that wallet address, put it in here, give it a name, and then you don't have to worry about source or global or any of that stuff. Just go ahead and put your wallet address and name, hit create, and then pool. There's a bunch of pools to choose from already inside here, but not all of them are here. If you notice, there's only four here, um, and there's more than four on miningpoolstats.stream. So just choose whatever pool works for you. If you have to, hit configure and miner. But if you choose like hero miners or woolly pulley, you will see that you have a drop down or basically a checkbox where you can check the pools you want to connect to. Uh, and then for miner, when you click the drop down, LOL miner might not show right off rip, but just hit show all. Scroll down until you get to LOL miner and select it. And then click setup miner config. Now, coin or algo whether it's SRB or LOL Miner, is going to be Carlson. Originally, it wasn't showing in here, but now it is. Now that Hivon has made an update. And then Wallet Worker Template, if this was blank, all you got to do is type, uh, come up here to the I, click Wall, put a dot in between, and then Worker. Boom. Wallet.worker name, and it will just copy what you have previously. Pool server URL. I didn't put any stratum TCP or anything like that. I just put the pool URL. It will add it in the miner. And then the port number, the password, and any extra commands you want to add. If you want to lock your GPUs at a certain clock, stuff like that, you can do that here within the extra config arguments. 
or you could do that in the hive utility or you could do that with the nv tool like i'm doing but that is the flight sheet to get you up and running on lol miner for carlson on nvidia systems moving over to the amd side of things my flight sheet looks as like this so kls again wallet pool srb miner setup miner same thing wallet.worker url which i can do the same thing with lol miner because it's just going to take the url from hero miners and then password and sometimes you get extra config arguments if not don't worry about it and then version 2.42 so i'm using the latest version for both srb and uh lol miner and that will get you up and running on your amd system now both both of these are running pretty good but there's a reason why i said um you know use lol for nvidia and srb for amd um, and that is because i had some issues right so for example here on reddit uh those, that's the nvidia stuff that we're going to compare here in just a second but basically i had started with srb everything was running fine playing around with the clocks tuning and stuff like that as soon as i switched to lol it just wouldn't detect or work on you know the 5700 xts for some reason not sure why not sure if there's a kernel error uh can't update amd drivers uh because hyvon still using outdated 2022 drivers but it's whatever as soon as i went back to srb amd system came back online so just use srb for amd and then as far as nvidia goes we got a comparison here uh so i was using srb minor at first and then i switched to lol minor and we could see for example the 3080 uh we got two of them sitting around 1.22 giga hash but when i put on lol minor we got we jumped up about 0.2 giga hash for both same thing for the 3060s we went up from around 600 some mega hash to 800 some mega hash so almost same thing 0.2 giga hash or 0.2 mega hash or excuse me 200 mega hash 1080 ti stayed about the same uh went up from only 763 to 778 but still a, a bump in improvement 3060s went up from 682 to, to 828 um you know whereas the 3070s went from around 800 something mega hash they were both around 826 to uh one giga hash now don't worry about the clocks again i'm doing nv tool these clocks aren't the actual clocks being utilized there is some more fine tuning i can do but i just want to keep the clocks the same to make the comparison adequate um so the variables were less and then the 2070 uh, went from 589 mega hash to 776 mega hash. Now, as far as Windows goes, um, I am using SRB Miner right now because this Windows system has a 7900 XTX and a 3070 Ti. Technically, the best way to go would be to uh, use the commands to differentiate or not mine on SRB with the 3070 Ti, and same thing for LOL. To exclude the two, run two minor windows. LOL for 3070 Ti, srb for the 7900 xtx because i'm pretty sure this 3070 ti could probably hit one giga hash or above if i were on lol miner but srb miner i'm just uh doing a thing to try to just get the hash rate now i am locking the clocks within srb miner for the 3070 ti there are your commands um you know the number signifies the gpu in order of pci lane or a slot so zero is a 3070 ti one would be the 7900 xtx but even if I try to put those commands in to lock the 7900 XTX, it just wouldn't work. So I'm using AMD Radeon on Windows to lock the core, lock the mem, bring everything as low as I possibly can. Um, and then I'm using SRB or the command uh, for my specific miner to lock down the 3070 Ti. But basically, you just have your algorithm, Carlson hash. You got your pools, which you can have both of them in there you, as a backup separated by a comma. You got your wallet. And then you got your um, your locks or your clocks, including your worker name. SRB doesn't have the worker name by default. I like to add it in there just to see my worker, but it's just dash dash worker and so on and so forth. But the commands are all simple. Um, you'll be able to get up and running no problem on both your AMD and NVIDIA system. Just remember LOL minor for NVIDIA. And then on the AMD system, use SRB. Now, for both these rigs, if I were to hash away 24-7 on it, I'm not near the power target I want to hit right now. The hash rate dot no says 740 watt, 48 watts, uh, more like 750. Uh, I'm not near that where I want to be, but here is your overall revenue for 24 hours, and here's your overall profit. Clearly above some of the others, but as this video comes out, as Son of a Tech did his video, more and more people are getting interested. A lot of you requested the audit of the software uh, of the Carlson wallet, which was done 
as more and more tension comes on, more people uh, start hashing on it, thus increasing difficulty and thus reducing the profitability. And because there's not a lot of exchanges out there, uh, Trade Ogre, even though it hit over 1.2 million volume in the past 24, where previously it was very small, um, you know, the, the, the increased attraction to this coin and, and mining profitability um, is going to draw more in, thus reducing the profits. And that's just the game that we live in or the, the world that we live in with crypto mining. It's always spec mine the latest coin, get a bag as fast as you can, take some profits before everybody and their mom gets on it and then dumps the price or, uh, you know, just reduces the profitability to a non-existent level. But that is how you mine on both your Hive and Windows system. Uh, while it takes a little bit of getting used to, I'm used to it because I'm used to working those type of environments, but not everybody is. Everybody just wants a nice little gooey wallet, simple, sweet, or an all-in-one wallet that just has all your coins. That would be lovely, but that's not the world we have just yet. Um, but either way, let me know your thoughts. Are you hashing away on Carlson? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the audit on Yeti.uk and do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. So let's check out additional links in the description. Don't support the channel and what we do here. You can just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.